So no doubt by now you've watched video reviews and have seen images of LEGO's standard Dune Ornithopter model, and maybe you even already own this set. But if like me, you feel disappointed by the offering from LEGO, which let's be honest, is essentially a Technic model with some panels and other elements bolted onto it to make it roughly resemble the cool Ornithopters that we see in the Dune movies. If that's the case, then this video is for you as I wanna show you this amazing custom Lego Dune Ornithopter that you can build as an alternative to Lego's standard set. This model has been designed by Zio Chow with building instructions available to purchase on Brickbolt. And you can find a link to the page I'm showing you now in the description of this video. Okay, let's take a closer look at this model. From this view, you can immediately see that Zio has spent a lot of time correctly capturing the lines and elegant shaping of the Ornithopter and Lego form. And there's barely a stud visible, there are no weird off-color scheme parts showing, or distracting gaps in the fuselage that unfortunately we see in the standard Lego offering. The blades can all be independently adjusted and positioned, and for noting, I went with the tile and plate-built blades version of this build. And I personally love the look of this model with the blade swept back in landed mode. The windshield assembly at the front can be removed and you can see that the cockpit has room for a pilot with two rear passengers. This model has been designed to be minifigure scale and while I'm here I want to thank my friend Rob for lending me his Lego Dune minifigures to use in this video so that you can see how the minifigures fit into the model. The top of the model can be removed to reveal the troop compartment, which I think is very cool. And looking at the ornithopter from this rear angle, you can see the lowered rear entry hatch, which is a feature of this vehicle that you see used frequently in the movies. And finally, you can retract the model's landing gear and fold up the rear hatch, giving you the option to display it in flight mode on a display stand if you want to. I personally think that if you're an adult LEGO enthusiast and you like the recent Dune movies like I do, then this is the Lego Ornithopter model that you should be building. You can, of course, go instead with Lego's version, which I will see includes an excellent selection of minifigures and has some ingenious play features like the retractable landing gear and blades that you can flap up and down. But to me, this model exemplifies the ethos of the custom Lego model paradigm, and that is that the designers of custom LEGO models always strive to design models that are as accurate to the source material as possible using LEGO parts. So the result you get when you build a model like this is a no compromises, stunning piece to add to your LEGO collection that will put a smile on your face for years to come. And further, with this particular Dune Ornithopter model, I feel like Xiao has crafted this model with a lot of love. Now that might sound weird, but if you go ahead and build this, you'll understand what I mean. At so many points in this build, I was impressed with Zio's intelligent and exacting use of Lego parts to create all the complex lines and form of the Ornithopter, and yet also allow for working and retractable landing gear, the fully adjustable blades, the working rear hatch, internal troop bay, a movie accurate cockpit with a three seat configuration. You can probably tell I'm very impressed with this model and I thought it was important to share it with you so that you know you have a very good option available to you if, like me, you felt like LEGO's standard Dune Ornithopter model was not the right fit for you. With that conclusion, that's all I wanted to cover in the video. But again, just mentioning that a link to the page where you can purchase the instructions for this on Brickbolt's site is in the video description below. And on that page, you can see all the details about parts costs, model dimensions, and see additional photos. As always, thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.